All right, it's going on 20 minutes to 7 o'clock on this Friday morning. Good to have you in our company. Time now to shift our focus onto something that all South Africans can be very proud of. The University of KwaZulu-Natal's School of Engineering unveiled their recently finished solar car. The car demonstrates possibilities when brain power and financial resources come together. The current uh, finished product has been modified from the 2012-2013 project. This project is meant to compete at the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge event to be held in Australia in September this year. To, to talk to us about the project is master student in mechanical engineering, Shuve Singh, as well as a lecturer and a co-team leader of this project, Dr. Clinton Beaumont from UKZN. They join us now from our Durban studios. A very good morning to the both of you and welcome to Morning Live. Doctor, I'm going to start with you. You guys must be very proud of what you've been able to achieve. Oh, absolutely. We're extremely proud. Um, we're proud of being the first team, the first African team ever to enter the World Solar Challenge. Can you explain that a little bit, how it came about, how you guys were able to achieve that? Well, my co-team leader and I, Kirsty Veal, started the project in 2012. And I suppose one of the biggest challenges was attaining enough funding. Um, and we entered the, the South African Solar Challenge in 2012. We won that um, challenge. And then we entered again in 2014, last year, and um, we had some enormous problems along the way. We blew some electronics and missed one and a half days of the race, but somehow we still were the top South African team, and our sponsors were very impressed with us, and uh, yeah, here we are today. Shive, I want to bring you into the conversation here, and tell me what it was like to be a part of this project. Uh, it was absolutely fantastic. There's no other way to say it. Uh, I have great interest in motorsport and efficiency. And when this project came about and, and I managed to make the team, I was, I was overjoyed. And the whole experience of the race and uh, the things we had to deal with starting late and managed to, managing to win on the very last day, it's just been fantastic. And that win is what enabled you guys then to get the entry to go to the World Solar Challenge. Is that correct? Uh, absolutely. I think it was a very important factor uh, to, to enter the World Solar Challenge. Obviously, we didn't want to enter if we didn't think we stood a chance. But based on what we did in South Africa, we think, uh, we think we'd, we'll definitely uh, give them all a run for their money. Okay, so as a motorsporting enthusiast, just how fast does the solar car go? Well, we never actually drive it very fast because it's not very efficient at high speeds, but the car is actually capable of going 140 kilometers on just a two kilowatt motor. So we can reach uh, significant speeds. My goodness, 140 kilometers per hour. That, that is quite significant, especially considering what the car looks like. And doctor, I want to bring you in here because one would look at the car and say that this looks way too futuristic for somebody ever, ever to drive. I mean, what are the possibilities of this technology being made available for consumers or, on, uh, or how is it going to help the consumer? I mean, is there any way that what you guys are going to be doing will trickle down to a consumer at any point? Well, if, any, if anyone out there does want to buy one and they have enough money, we can certainly build them one. But, <laughs> um, you know, the, the principal thing about this car is it's, it's a platform for, for two things. There's, it's an energy a solar energy harvesting device and it's an electric vehicle. And, of course, those two technologies are of fundamental importance to the future of, of mankind, really. Okay, so what, I mean, let's, let's expand on that a little bit. Let's... This technology that you guys are using, will we ever be able to see cars in the future being run completely with the energy of the sun? Um, probably not for a very long time. Um, it, it may happen in the distant future uh, if, if photovoltaic panels get considerably more efficient. But what is, is already happening is you, are, you can already order uh, cars like the Nissan Leaf um, and the, the Toyota Prius with uh, photovoltaic cells on the roof that just augment the, the charge and they enable you to, to get a longer distance out of your, um, your, your, a longer range out of your car. And then how do you guys store the energy? I mean, can you, I see you guys are working at night in this visual that I'm looking at now. I mean, does it work during the evening? Oh, on, on the race and often leading up to the race, the truth is we, we work um, all night often, you know. <laughs> we don't get very much sleep a lot of the time. Depends on how, car, how well our car's running, but often we're tweaking it and optimizing things uh, a large portion of the night. Okay, will it drive during the evening though? 
Oh, absolutely, yes. We can do up to 200 kilometers um, on our batteries with okay. no sun at all. My word. Okay, Shave, just tell me about the upcoming um, World Challenge that you guys are going to partake in and exactly what it takes to drive a car that looks like that. Okay, so the World Solar Challenge uh, starts at the top of Australia. We go all the way from Darwin to Adelaide. So it's 3,000 kilometers through the outback. So the outback, uh, huge desert. So you get the extremes. You get extreme heat during the day, extreme cold at night. And then there's all the animals and plants that are trying to kill you along the way. Uh, so it, it's quite a challenging race. And driving this distance, um, I was actually one of the drivers uh, in the South African uh, race uh, last year. And uh, it's quite unique, uh, driving a car that weighs this little at, at quite significant speeds. Uh, the wind affects you quite a bit. And we actually race uh, on public roads with other vehicles. Nothing's closed off. So it's, it's quite a unique, ex a unique experience. And I, I guess it, um, having experience in the car helps a lot. I'm a lot more comfortable now than I was in the first five kilometers of the race last year. Uh, and yeah, really looking forward to it. And it should be, it should be quite different to the South African race, uh, but uh, I think it'll be really good. Well, congratulations to you. Congratulations to the team, Doctor, as well. Those congratulations extend to you and to the sponsors that really got behind this project because I understand that about a million rand was pumped into the first one and then a million for the modification. We can see what that means. South Africa now going to be represented at this World Solar Challenge. We wish you guys all the best of luck when you go to Australia in September. And well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. That was uh, Dr. Clinton Bermont, UKZN Solar Car co-team leader and lecturer in the School of Engineering, as well as master's student Shuve Singh, just chatting about the World Solar Challenge and their representation there.